The Bamboo Labs P1S with the AMS, I would call it as the P1S combo. A great machine and everything that comes out of this 3D printer is looking amazing. And with the AMS, you can even have some nice colorful prints coming out of your 3D printer. But it is not always perfect. And there are some things also with the AMS not going always right. For example, cardboard spools needing a drill to re-spool and finding it out that it doesn't look nice at all. Let's talk about it right here in this video. Well, at this moment, my Bamboo Labs is printing the last remaining pieces in order to build a spool rewinder. It is needed because if you are using on the AMS plastic spools, actually nothing can go wrong. But with cardboard spools, like the ones from Polymaker or Airy One, you can get those amazing rings, but I've used them. The problem with the cardboard spools is that they can sometimes have some dents or that they are a little bit bended or that they are a little bit weak. These rings are made so that you can just press fit it right in there. Very nice, very convenient when it works. But I already have attached several of these rings to my cardboard spools and there I had this issue it wasn't working i have on the right hand side i have a spool of red polyterra filament from polymaker and i wanted to use it but i wasn't able to use it with those rings those rings should be press fitted right behind the little grabbing ring that sits there if the cardboard spool is a little bit softer it is harder to press it right in there and you need to make sure that everything is well aligned why do i say that because on the ams there is a limited space if this spool is gripping and holding into the ams it doesn't go anywhere but still the filament is being pushed backwards causing that the filament will get stuck or that you get other things that you don't want to have those rings should work i have many people saying on x that this normally should work so i have to learn more how to use this maybe it is just a little zach thing that he doesn't know any better but i also know from other people that even though when they use this they confirm that they have the same kind of issue that i have i have also spools of filament from every one i just have four or five spools of white filament and also here a very nice designed ring it should fit onto the cardboard spool but here this is also a spool because it is vacuum sealed it will bend the cardboard inwards i've got here this little here little crack you need to really press fit it right in there and yeah it doesn't look nice at all this is also one of the spools that gave me a lot of throw i had here one kilograms of white pla in there and i had to do something in order to get it to work i re-spooled it onto a empty white spool from every one where i can put one kilograms on it how did i get this white filament this one kilogram of filament from this spool onto this spool well <laughs> i used a one filament spool holder like that i took another spool holder from the prusa mini i put the this spool right on there i put the other one on there and uh, i started rolling with this device but you need to have a drill. You put it just like this, and then you put, you put this one on here. You clamp it, and then you take a drill. You take a drill bit, and it goes right on there, and then you are going to roll it as fast as possible. And then you also need to guide it. And in my case, what happened, it was not spooled nice enough. And just imagine one kilogram of PLA filament going through your fingers is going to burn in the end and it is going to hurt and in the end i put the filament spool into the ams and lo and behold it did not work i'm going to build a spool winder it is from a v3 you can find it on bamboo labs website the maker world i will put the link in the description this guy made something amazing and i'm going to do a little time lapse how to build something like that yourself but there is a way better video from him on that side from Maker World. And let's see if I can get this spool of filament onto another spool of filament and that I can load it into my AMS without any problem. Let's do that. You know, after building this whole thing, it's still not perfect. First of all, you really need to print this in Orpeggi 
or better than ABS. If you want to print the whole thing yourself, follow the instructions of this filament winder. I think it should work great, but for what I'm doing now, I'm spending way too much time. I spent like two days working on this and uh, still, you know, it's not really as it's supposed to, but This is me just trying to follow something without really doing any of the instructions. I know, very sketchy, but it's what it is. It's a great project if you execute it very well. But still, I want to have this filament winded onto this pool. I had some fun. I had some frustrations as, as well. Let's uh, leave this project for another time. Let's continue with the Bamboo Labs P1S. And in the meantime, I'm going to uh, re-spool this onto this pool in a different way. Well, so I have now two spools, half spools, of filament i decided to quit with the re-spooling because this is not working at all just imagine more and more companies are switching over from the plastic spools into cardboard spools the more those kind of spools will come the more you need to re-spool and i don't think that you are waiting for re-spooling every single time it's a waste of time and my time is more precious than re-spooling every single time. So what do I think about the Bamboo Labs P1S with AMS, the combo that I bought using for a few days. It is a wonderful machine. Without a doubt, there are some amazing prints coming out of this machine. At first, I had a little issue with the bad adhesion. Using 3D Lock can be a solution, but after that, I printed a lot of things, single color, multicolor it looks all amazing but then going to the ams unit you know there are some rules for the filament companies to listen to because if you have a plastic spool that fits the normal bamboo standard you're all fine everything is going to work just perfect but if you are going for the cardboard spools or the spools are a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller thinner and this should be the same size when they are a little bit bigger, the AMS is a limit size. You cannot go very big. Then you need to re-spool. It's not a fun, pleasant thing. And especially if you're buying these machines for production, you don't want to waste time to make a filament winder, you know, try to get rings on your cardboard spools in order to get it all working. This is not a review. This is my first impression about the Bamboo Labs P1S with AMS unit. I will put the link in the description of this video where you can buy this one. I bought this for production purpose. I'm still planning to use it because the more I'm going to use it, the more easier things are going to be. Maybe there is just me the issue, not the printer issue, but let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Bamboo Labs P1S? What are your experiences and thoughts about it? If you are wondering how it is to unbox this Bamboo Labs P1S combo, you uh, should check out the video right here to see how my experience was during the unboxing of the Bamboo Labs P1S with the combo or with the AMS. Check it out. 